7 News told you first about concerning reports that two dogs passed away within days of staying at the same PetSmart in Alexandria. Both owners say their pets were healthy before going to the pet hotel. The boarding facility is now being investigated. Our Tom Rousey has been covering this story for weeks now. He joins us live with some advice for pet owners. Tom. Yeah, Scott, uh, we know that the investigation is still ongoing into what exactly led to the deaths of two dogs that stayed at the Pets Hotel here at this PetSmart during the same week. And they also unfortunately passed away during the same week. But it certainly got a lot of people thinking about the safety of boarding facilities. So we wanted to try to get some advice on how you can look into the safety of a place. But what we found out was what you can find out in advance is limited. 7 News has been reporting on the death of two dogs, an Aussie doodle named Clark and a boxer named Blue. They died two days apart the same week they had both boarded at this Alexandria PetSmart in Potomac Yard. Clark died while staying at the facility and Blue died days after being picked up. While PetSmart is suggesting underlying health issues may have led to both dogs' deaths, the owners tell us the dogs were healthy when they went in. The deaths have left some pet owners wondering how they can tell if a boarding facility is safe for their pet. We love our pets. You know, we want them cared for. Wayne Paselli, the president of Animal Wellness Action, tells 7 News it can be difficult for pet owners to search a facility's history. There's no requirement that if an animal does die in the care of one of these boarding facilities, that you as a consumer would know that that is part of the history or the background of that facility. So the consumer is kind of flying blind on this. Now, that being said, Wayne does say there are some things you can do. He recommends talking to other folks who have used a pet boarding facility and getting their opinions. He also says, go inspect it yourself. He says that won't necessarily prove that it's a good or bad place, but if you see some red flags, that's a sign you don't want to bring your pet there. So he says he wants you to talk to other people, inspect, and then also do your research. You can look online, that sort of thing. But again, what you can find out in advance is somewhat limited so just keep that in mind reporting live in alexandria in the potomac yard area i'm tom rousey seven news